Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I am here at the Naughty Artisan Studio in Las Vegas with Cindy from Cobalt Butterfly and she is going to show us some of her awesome products. So hello, welcome, and I am very excited to be here. So thank you Bronson for having me. So, um, so I was just asked what are pastes, which are resin pastes that are used um, by artists. Um, and pastes are actually mixed. You only use a little tiny bit to mix them into your resin. Um, artists use them for with. So in the countertop industry, you use spray paint to tint the resin. Um, in the artist community, we use micas um, and other things to tint our resins. Um, pastes are one of those, and pastes are essentially using pigments or micas already mixed in with something, secret ingredients, um, <laughs> to make it into a paste form that allows you to tint your resin um, before you pour. Um, and so you put a clear base and you'll watch me do that down and then we pour to make art. Um, so you can make, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, you only need to use a little bit of the paste to make that tint. Um, and so a little bit goes a long way. Um, so, and I'll walk you through that. Um, so what you see here that I've done here is I've actually measured out ahead of time on some of my resin and then I've measured out into cups separately what I want to pour with because I'm going to be pouring with three different colors of my pastes. Um, and uh, the pastes that I'm going to be using are from Cobalt Butterfly, our Butterfly, which is a, hence our Cobalt Butterfly color. Uh, it's a very dark Cobalt, almost butterfly color, and I'll be showing you exactly what that looks like in a little bit. Um, and then Iris, which is um, a deep dark purple, it's a mica um, paste. And then, class, oh, sorry, no, bronze. <laughs> um, Bronze is one of our newer colors. We just released it in the last week. Um, so excited about that. Uh, so we'll be using that today. And then for our base, we'll be tinting with um, Stone Coat Countertops um, base tint. Um, whenever we pour, and you'll, you should see this, um, over with the, with the pastes over um, Stone Coat base tints, we get cells. Um, do you have a heat gun? Yep. <laughs> Can I have that? Not a torch, a heat gun. A heat gun. Yep. I will need that for my demonstration. Sure. So I forgot to ask for that. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm all mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, that's fun. <laughs> That'll be an interesting part to the white background. For those watching, I picked up a little bit that was on the table <laughs> from the previous pour we were doing. That's cool. Like, <laughs> Alright, extra hook off the freedom. Okay, so. Right that's right. So, what I use my spoon for, kind of like chopping or the trowel. How oh, fun. There's some blue. Coming off the bottom of the yeah, I know yeah. this. How fun. <laughs> Okay, so I use the spoon to get out to my edges. I was always looking for something that would help me spread, um, but the spoon seems to work the best for me to get out to the edges of my board. And it also helps me in my final mix. I'm gonna be quick. Your pipes only go in resin. Yes, that is correct. They only go in resin. So your heat gun, I usually use a heat gun or I spread with paper. There's <coughs> two ways to do it. What was the second one you said? Sorry. Paper. 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 Um, like swipe. Okay. Swipes with paper. Heat gun. So you can use a torch, but you won't get the same effect. I'm going to pop my bubbles. It also heats up your first layer. I'm 
what I'm doing is called a negative space pour. There are lots of different types of pour techniques for pouring resin. So I'm going to start off the end of the board. Which color is this? And this is iris. Iris. Pretty purple. And I go back and forth over it to get as much of that line as I can so it can be kind of as wide as possible because I'm going to essentially spread it with the heat gun. And I want it as much of it out of that cup as I can. Sometimes I'll like actually scoop it out, but I'm being fast. Okay, so this is butterfly, and I usually follow the same line as I did with the first color. This is just a simple technique for an art piece. So on our YouTube channel, I did one very similar to this with our gentum, which is our silver. And then this is bronze. So typically what I do is because it's the metallic, I'll kind of wave it back and forth to hit both colors. And retrace. If I don't want to put too much down, then I'll stop. That's that. And now, I come back with the heat gun. Make sure that it's hot enough. I don't want to put it over my skin too much because that's pretty hot. <laughs> so I go over it lightly with the heat gun. I heat up the rest of the piece. Make sure everything is nice and warm. And then I get really close and I start moving <laughs> sometimes the heat guns will have a little platypus thing on it that helps in getting your direction of the, the air movement come back over here and move it this way I think I got some resin on the end of it, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And voila. Voila. And it, you have to let it sit because more and more cells will produce. So we'll just let it. So we get more sit. cells with the paste? Is that kind of the. Absolutely. Especially with ours. So with our cells, I mean, with our pastes, not only do we get the big cells that you're seeing here, but. As we'll watch it, so you see the initial big cells, but as it sits here for a little bit longer, these little micro cells will produce, assuming that I put enough of the base tint in, which I'm pretty sure that I did. <laughs> so the key is the base tint? The base also tint. Also the heat gun. And the heat makes gun. Makes a big difference. Yeah, you have to use the heat gun or you have to use, like I said, um, a swipe. It has to move. And what that all is all about is it has to do with the density. I had a conversation with um, Mike at Stonecoat about this. And, and I actually did a, if you're interested about this effect uh, on our YouTube channel, I did two different, I did a, uh, an example of this with how much of the base tint, it's all about density. And it's the, essentially the sinking of the paint really, or the, the pigments in the paints. That's really what's going on. So. Yeah, all right. And so more and more we'll come back. You guys can go off and do something and come back and look at it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're going to do a quick close up here. Check out all these awesome cells. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Ooh, look, there's a heart.
<laughs> Cute. I love it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Cobalt Butterfly. I'll put all the info in the description, and I'll see you next time.